Hey everyone, I'm Fooville Legends, and you're watching Behind the Legends, the place to learn the most advanced coding secrets. Disclaimer, if you're a beginning coder, this lesson might be a little hard. But don't worry, I'll always start with a tip that anyone can do. I use the tools in CodeSpark to make stories for the kid coding community. They're the same tools that kid coders can use to make their own games and stories. Today we're going to learn how to make your stories more exciting using multi-threading. This is our first coding lesson, so if you like it, make sure you let everyone at CodeSpark know by poking the like button at the story at the end. So here's your beginner tip. This tip comes from Darling Foreverbug. Want to make an item giant? Follow these steps. One, take the item and stretch it as big as you can. Two, take a basket and put your big item inside. Three, shrink the basket as small as possible. Four, duplicate the item inside the basket. See how it gets big? You can repeat those steps over and over to make giant items. Thanks again to Darling Foreverbug for the awesome tip. Check out Darling Foreverbug's cool story at xgmygbegm for more. With code, sometimes accidental features like this make for big results. And that brings us to today's lesson, multi-threading. Multi-threading is when a program runs one or more processes at the same time. Think of what happens when you're on a website. We might see one page load, but really? There are lots of things going on at the same time. One process might load the images from the server, while another displays the text, and a third one tells which colors to display. Cool, right? But how can you use that in your stories? Let's watch this to find out. Everybody's talking about Reboot like I should already know what it is, but it's the first I've ever heard about it. The first you've ever... Come on, man. Reboot comes but twice a year. Ugh, is this some kind of prank? No? See how long that took? One foo uses the speak command, and we wait for them to use the drop command, and then another one speaks, and then they use act, and on, and on, and on always waiting for the next step. But what if I told you, you can act and speak at the same time? It's true, I do it in every story, and I'll show you how. Each item in your story runs its own process or thread. That's just a fancy way of saying each item controls its own code. But we can also make an item control another item. Here's how we coded that last story. Pigsy's code says, when started, speak, drop, and then Ichi, speak, act annoyed, and then, and so on. Each bit of code executes one step at a time in sequence. That means Pigsy must finish speaking before he can use drop. And Pigsy must finish using drop before Ichi can speak. But that's so slow. So what can we do about it? Let's take out all the act commands and the drop command, and we'll go from there. Remember how you can make one item control another item? We can use that technique to run two code blocks at the same time. No waiting. Watch, I'll add a game controller over here, just off screen. That way, no one watching the story will be able to see it, but it will still work its magic. Now we have two threads. One is running in Pigsy, and the other is running in the game controller. We know that Pigsy will use speak when started. So let's set our controller to when started as well. We don't want the controller to do anything, so let's skip that tray and hit and then. Set the target to Pigsy, so it can tell Pigsy what to do instead. And now, whatever code you put in this tray will run at the same time Pigsy speaks. I'll add a drop command, like before. Now let's watch what happens in just that first one. Everybody's talking about Reboot like I should already know what it is, but it's the first I've ever heard about it. Let's watch the original version side by side. 
Everybody's talking about Reboot like I should already know what it is, but it's the first I've ever heard about it. See how much faster the new version finished? That means that the characters in your stories can talk and animate just like you would in real life. But watch out, since both threads are running at the same time, there can be consequences. Let's do it again, but this time at a reaction for Ichi in the controller thread. We open the controller, hit and then set the target to Ichi. Remember that we want Ichi to act annoyed when he uses speak. Let's play it back. Everybody's talking about Reboot like I should already know what it is, but it's the first I've ever heard about it. See how Ichi's act command came up before he spoke? That's because the controller thread only needs to wait for the drop command to finish before it runs the act annoyed command. You'll need to pay close attention to what's finishing when in each thread. This can get super complicated fast, especially if you run even more threads. I like to run one thread for all my speak commands and then two threads for each character so each character can move, act, and speak all at the same time. A scene like this would have at least five threads. And when I combine multi-threading with my other special techniques, it looks like this. Everybody's talking about Reboot like I should already know what it is, but it's the first I've ever heard about it. The first you've ever... Come on, man. Reboot comes but twice a year. Oh, is this some kind of prank? No? Cool, right? Now try making your own. See how many threads you can run at once. You'll find that you can't run two of the same kind of code blocks on the same object at the same time, such as having Ichi run two act commands or Pigsy having two speak commands that fire at the same time. Experiment with what you can and can't do. You'll discover all kinds of crazy combinations you never thought possible. That's all the time I have for this lesson. If you liked it, be sure to poke the like button at the end of the story and pick an emoji to tell us what you think. I'm Fooville Legends, and I can't wait to see what you code next. Catch you later, kid coders. Code Spark Academy, coding for kids. Available on the App Store, Google Play, or Amazon.